And then once we pulled out the old one, I'm going to put the new one in. And that helps, uh, helps pull things down. Okay, it was time today to, to change out what we call the KTO. And the, the KTO is where the uh, human solid waste goes into. And one of the things we have to do when we change these out is we keep track. Uh, there's two parts to this KTO. There's a body and there's a cover. And we keep track of the serial numbers so we know uh, how many we've been going through and how many we, we still have on board. And then once we pulled out the old one, I'm going to put the new one in. Give you a quick look here on the an empty tank and it's just uh, not much to it you can see down in there so there's three brackets here that, uh, that we put this that holds this in place Tighten that down real well so that it doesn't move around on you too much. And the next step right here is where we connect this hose. And what this hose provides is suction. And so when we uh, turn on the WHC and we actually turn it on with the, uh, the urine hose up here in this valve, that starts a fan which provides suction, so if you're just, uh, you just have to urinate, then you use this, but if, uh, uh, if you have to defecate, then you're going to use the KTO as well, so when you open up the lid, that air suction goes down, it's pulled down through the, uh, the KTO, and that helps, uh, helps pull things down as well as keep the smell out. Next thing we do is we put on the seat, so this is the little seat. And inside of that is a plastic liner, and that's what we uh, that's what we go into. So it's uh, individual, and when you're done, you replace you replace the plastic liner. And that's all there is to it. Bathroom is ready to go.